We agreed to show them where we'd hidden the Semtex and to help them recover it. Straight down. Straight down. On the tire tracks, yeah. And there's a dirt track on your right up here, guys, about... We were handing over control of the investigation to others, and there was some concern that Hooley might find out about our undercover work through his network of spies in the local Kosovan police force. About 150 meters, uh, about 120 meters off the road there. First right turn, follow the road. See, the, see that red marker is over there. Keep the lights on there, I suppose, Full. So that'll do there. Great. We outlined the weight of evidence we had against Hooley. We have footage of the person who gave it to us, we have footage of the handover, and we have uh, uh, telephone contact and several uh, recorded conversations with uh, the man who sold it to us and the man, Kayla Ma, who delivered it to us. Uh, how much did we pay for it? 15,000 15, euros. Were we, were we cheated? Did we pay too much? Well, the only thing that hasn't gone up in Kosovo in 18 months is the price of hand grenades. So you probably look at the price. Well, hand grenades. <laughs> About five euros. Uh, that's extraordinary, isn't it? They've us a location. It's fairly clearly marked. Um, but they've buried it uh, about four inches uh, under some loose soil. Having established that we were telling the truth, the police called in the UN bomb squad. But their arrival roused the interest of the local police. How did the local police know? Yeah. Just seen us here. They've seen us. They've seen activities. So they've come up to us. That's like what's going on. That's just like the local police. We've moved them on twice. Word was getting about. The threat of Hooli finding out was making our situation precarious. With your security, the longer you're here, the more people come, the more contact you make, the looting. Well, we'll, 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 we'll uh, Glenn Murphy talking to boys, we'll start with the supplies and make for the mountain road. Well, well the explosive team has arrived and they've been on board to the scene uh, where we bury the Semtex. Uh, by the uh, UN police force. And uh, this is the start of making this uh, very dangerous explosive safe. To that red post. Ah, yeah. So there, he's safe. Going across. But there are some holes and some hazards uh, there. It's a big pit. About three inches under a bit of. What is that? It's a Finnish battalion, yeah. The UN were convinced this area had been mined in the war. They trod very carefully. It's just under here. It's just in the bag. It should be pretty stable. It shouldn't be a problem. It's uh, 120 sticks of, uh, well, Semtex derivative, Swedish version. For how many kilos? 15 kilos. No, no, it's completely stable, as far as we're concerned. Yeah. Okay, so I will ask everybody for their own safety, you know, at least from the cars, everybody there, so we will call EOD here. Okay. If it's not stable, they might be stored. Sure. Uh, it will take an assessment situation of what to do with it, whether to retrieve it if it's stable, which is what we believe, or whether they should do a controlled explosion. bomb squad decided against a controlled explosion. Instead, they wanted to retrieve the bag. The Semtex and the story behind it is now vital evidence. With it, the UN hoped to track down and for the first time crack the Kosovan Mafia and ultimately bring Huli to justice. Can you get us out of here, mate? 
what I've suggested is the least involvement we have in open source, the safer you are. The point being, if, 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 if it's in order to organize an escort, let's go through several lines of command and eventually gets down into the local command, have affiliations and allegiances, and it may filter out. So for own safety, we just sneak out the back door. That's your mother maker. In the midst of the war on terror, we set out to find how difficult it was to buy the terrorist weapon of choice. With an illusion of cash and a tall story, we've proved how you can buy just about anything if you know the wrong people. Hope you gotta go, guys. Yeah. Who's got the torch?